Speaker, I'd like to yield to the gentleman from Illinois, an esteemed member of the House Ways and Means Committee and uh, subcommittee chair of the oversight uh, subcommittee, uh, Mr. Roscom, for as much time as he would consume. The gentleman from Illinois is recognized for as much time as he wishes to use. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I would thank the gentlelady for yielding. Mr. Speaker, did you notice something? Did you notice that as Speaker and the uh, person who's presiding over this chamber today, oftentimes you hear a great deal of difficulty between the two parties and a lot of wrangling and a lot of different positions and so forth that manifest itself in arguing and, and, um, and so forth. But did you notice something? You're hearing both sides of the aisle coming before you and coming before this House and saying the same thing and that is we ought to move H.R. 529. And there's a recognition, and I think my constituency in suburban Chicago um, is breathing a collective sigh of relief right now because they're saying, hey, people are paying attention to things that matter to me and matter to my future and matter to my children, and that is they are taking a, a bill or a provision in the law that's been successful and they're improving it, they're bringing it up to date under the leadership of the gentlelady from Kansas, Ms. Jenkins, and um, she's joined by Mr. Davis, my colleague from Illinois, and everybody is coming together around that idea that says 529s need to be protected and defended, and we need to make sure that they are kept up to date because back home, this makes all the difference in the world. So I think this is one of these types of moments that's very significant and that we can build on. I thank the gentlelady for her leadership. I thank uh, Mr. Davis for his, and I rise in strong support of this measure and yield back to the balance of my time. Gentleman yields back his time.